Our big story at six tonight, an Indiana mother is struggling to come to grips with the death of her 10 year old son, who prosecutors say was killed by his own father. Haley Kelly wants to know how this could have happened when she laid out so many warning signs. She is looking for better answers from police, the Department of Child Services, and the court system. WRTV digital reporter Vic Riker collaborated on this story for broadcast and learned how a chilling text message shattered a mother's world. Nakota Kelly, with a big beaming smile, 10 years old in this picture, which was taken on July 15th, 2020, during a special trip with his mom. It was three days before his death. I wanted to take him to the FAO, um, so I took him to the FAO because I knew the weekend I couldn't um, because he had his dad's um, visit. Just before that outing at the Wabash County Fair, Nakota said something that made his mother reach for the phone. Monday, he had told me that his dad was going to kill him, um, and I asked him, what do you mean by that? He says, I'm going to be in really big trouble because I hung up on my dad and he's not got time to forget it. Forget that I hung up on him till the weekend. Um, so I called DCS and I told them that my son was scared, that he was, his dad was gonna hold him, um, that he told me that his dad was gonna kill him. Records show DCS made a note of the phone call, but did nothing to inform police at the time nor stop the visit. The boy's words, were foreshadowing. Prosecutors say Anthony Dibia killed his son on July 18th, 2020, during a court-ordered weekend visit. The day before, Haley met her son's father in Kokomo, halfway between both of their homes, for a drop-off, but they were late. Nakota had a little league game. It was his last one of the season, and he wanted to be a part of it. His coach told WRTV how excited Nakota was on the field. Honestly, he was a good ball player. He ran the bases like Jackie Robinson. If you look up the film of Jackie Robinson and see how Jackie Robinson ran the bases, that's how Nakoda ran the bases. Coach Alan Zimmerman watched Nakoda shine on the field, even as the boy endured a series of custody hearings and abuse complaints involving his father. Dibia had a criminal history, five aliases, and served prison time for identity theft. The boy testified to DCS caseworkers he had been hit, punched, and dragged down the stairs by his father. But records show DCS caseworkers claimed there wasn't substantial evidence to support abuse. Playing this final game meant Nakota and his mom would be late for a scheduled drop-off. I said, Nakota, you really want to go to your game? And he said, yes. He says, my, game ne my team needs me. Um... So we went to, I said, well, then we're going to your game. Your dad's just going to have to chill out. Haley gave Dibia a heads up, even invited him to the game. Dibia didn't like that and said so in a text message and threatened to call police and take Haley to court. Haley eventually dropped her son off with Dibia just after 9 o'clock, a few hours late. Dibia drove his son to his Indianapolis apartment. The next day, Haley spoke to her son on the phone. Everything seemed okay. He said he was watching YouTube and eating Lunchables. So I thought everything was going fine. The text came from Dibia. I got a text that says, sometimes I hear voices. My son's in heaven. Sometime between 740 Saturday night when she spoke to her son on the phone and 201 Sunday afternoon when she got that text, prosecutors say Dibia killed his son, confessed to a relative and a friend, and fled the state. Two hours after the text, police stopped Dibia on a Missouri highway some 375 miles west of his Indianapolis apartment. There were blood stains in the back of his Jeep, but no sign of Nakoda. At Dibia's Westside apartment on the 6,000 block of Westlake Road, court documents say investigators found Nakoda's blood and other evidence that the boy had been killed. His body has not been recovered to this day. I think he planned it. I don't think that it just came over him. I think he couldn't, he found out that I was sticking up for myself and he couldn't help me no more. And so that he took the only thing that mattered to me. At the field in Wabash where Nakota played baseball, this plaque is the closest thing his mother has to a grave. Haley wants justice for her son. She won't have closure until she can bury Nakota and have a true place to visit him.
Anthony Dibia is in jail facing murder charges. Our Vic Reichert requested an interview with him, but he declined. There is so much more to this story, and right now on WRTV.com, you can read the reasons why Haley Kelly plans to sue DCS. You'll hear from an expert who explains how police missed a chance to stop Dibia before he left town. You'll read more in depth on this story on WRTV.com.